ready? Yeah. Ready. Hey, welcome back to Friends in Austin. This is a holiday traditions episode, and we have four people for the first time. So I want to go around and introduce everybody. I'll start with you, Colleen. Go ahead. Um, what's your name? Colleen. Okay. Last name? Doesn't matter. <laughs> West. <laughs> <laughs> you're my middle name, too. Yeah. And your uh, uh, mother's maiden name uh, and your social security, social security number. number, please. <laughs> Best credit card. Yeah. yeah Give us a little blood. I want to see some blood. Okay. What's your childhood pet's name? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Moving what on. What is your childhood pet's name? My security questions. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, where Where did you grow up at? In Boston. Boston. Okay. And how long have you been in Austin? Um. Well, I used to live here, but maybe around three years total. Okay. Cool. And maybe your family lives in Houston now. Hmm? Some are in Houston. Some are in Austin. So you basically grew up in Texas, right? No, I basically grew up in Boston, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my family moved down to Texas when I was like a sophomore in college. Okay. So we've oh, all been yeah. planted so you, down yeah. here the past 10 years. Okay, cool. Yeah. And bring the microphone closer to your face. A little, like just sit up and bring it closer to your face. There you go. There you go. All right, Maggie, you've been on the podcast before. I have. Glad mm -hmm. to be back. Mm -hmm. I'm Maggie. Hello. Yeah. yeah. If anyone hasn't seen that episode, that was a fun episode. It was with you and Dave. Yep. Talked a lot about. Everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. lot about everything. God, I'm trying to remember what the title of that episode was. It was like something Margs with Anna Ferris. Yeah, COVID nineteen quarantine. COVID nineteen. Alex, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Jones. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of good stuff. And you're from Indiana. Sure am. Mm -hmm. Good old Midwest. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming back on the podcast. Yeah. Happy to be here. Thanks for yeah. having me. And this is Abe. Abe Ramirez. Yeah. I'm from Central Illinois. I've been in Austin for three years, and I've known Justin pretty much the whole time I've lived here. Yeah, so yeah. I'm happy to be on the podcast. Thanks for coming on, man. Yeah, actually, we met because you. I saw you at SoCo. You asked me how the apartments were, yep. and what I tell you? You told me that it was good living, but the maintenance was shit. Yeah, and what so, happened and to your was, apartment? And it was exactly right. <laughs> so I was in my apartment for maybe six months, and basically... The sewer backed up in my apartment. <laughs> so basically, I couldn't live in my apartment for two months. So it was a real shit show. Literally? Figuratively and literally. So yeah, I had a, I had a fun first year of uh, living at Soko on the Lake. So luckily, I got out of that apartment and on to bigger and better things. So you were definitely right in terms of the maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's it, still not any good. But hey, you, you know. But that community is just awesome. Yeah, and living yeah, by the lake is yep, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pull the microphone a little closer okay. to you. Yep. Yeah, keep it. Okay. So the ah. point of the episode is to do family traditions, holiday traditions. So I wanted to maybe go around and say like what are some of our favorite could childhood or even current, if anyone has any current family traditions, I don't think none of us have kids. So we probably don't have a whole lot of our own. I thought you had a couple kids in my, was I running there? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I heard. Somewhere in, in Mexico. Uh, in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one and one, two. Not in the States. <laughs> You never know. There's no legal obligation. So <laughs> they don't tell you. <laughs> How you gonna know? Colleen's giving me really weird looks right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mexico. <laughs> so Colleen, do you want to start? Do you have any fun family holiday traditions? Um, well, every year we do fondue on Christmas Eve. Uh so there's like cheese fondue, chocolate fondue, and then you know, the oil pot with meat and fish and um and we always go to the movies on Christmas Eve, but I'm sure we won't be doing that this year. Uh, and, then, and then we open all our presents on Christmas Eve every year. All of them? Every single present. Because uh, we used to do that fun game where was, you know, everyone gets to pick one present on Christmas Eve. Yeah. And then for some reason, we were all like 12, 13, 14. And uh, my dad was like, you guys all know Santa's not real, right? Let's just keep going. And so after that, like, we always just open every present on Christmas Eve. So then what do you do on Christmas Day? Oh, just hang out, sleep, Do you eat. do stockings on Christmas Day? Yeah, we, do, we leave the stockings. Usually, I mean, sometimes, but, you know, we lack self-control. So usually everything gets opened by the 24th. So you can't be late in ordering your presents. You greedy bastards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my family started doing the same thing, but I don't know. At what age did they start doing that? as long as I can really remember. So like at least high yeah. school. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. somewhere I toured once we were all in high school, mm -hmm. like it was mm -hmm. just, yeah. Yeah. So we did the presents on Christmas Eve as well at night, drink some wine. Mm -hmm. And then we did the stockings in the morning. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Maggie, what about you? Yeah, we've got a couple. Um, 
Christmas Eve was always just my household. My How many siblings family. do you have? I have two. Two? Younger. My brother's six years younger than me, and my sister's 10 years younger than me. So I pretended like Santa Claus was real, really, until I was, like, in college. Because my <laughs> sister still believed. Um, so it was kind of fun. We always had a pretty big Christmas all through, for me, like, junior high and high school. Um, Christmas Eve, we always, I don't know if you guys know what bobbly is. It's, they make these gross ass pizza crusts. They taste like cardboard, but my mom will buy those. And each of us got to make our own pizza on Christmas Eve. So that was really fun. Um, so make your own pizzas, but we just opened Mm. one gift. You only got one gift. I like the pizza. That's a good, that's a good tradition. Yeah. Good one. And then Christmas day, um, Oh man, my mom and dad would always, we would wake up super early, you know, we'd want to come downstairs and and see the presents because we still did Santa piles literally until I was in high school. My senior year of high school, I still had a pile from Santa because my sister was eight and believed. So they would make us sit at the top of the stairs and they would make us sit for like 30 minutes because they were just being assholes and they knew that we (laughs) couldn't wait to run downstairs. And my dad would guard the bottom of the steps and if one of us would try and run down, Get your ass back up there. Mm. And, yeah, so then we'd come running down, see our presents. That was fun. Were they setting up the presents while he was guarding the stairs? Or well, was my it mom just was, like, a... like, with her digital camera taking pictures of, <laughs> okay. of everything and, like, making sure that there was a bite taken out of the cookie so it was like Santa <laughs> Claus had been there, you know? Yeah. All that kind of shit. Like, um, this teeth marks really seem to match up. Yeah, to exactly. Your teeth <laughs> Mom, I need a, like your te- dental implants. Like, <laughs> let me see your mold. Um, and then our other one, I don't know if you guys know what the pickle is. You guys, did you guys know uh, I do, that? I, I don't know much about it, but I know. The pickle? Yeah, yeah. it's like is a it, is German it only an traditional. Ornament or? mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a German tradition and it's a pickle ornament. And you hide it on the tree amongst the other ornaments. And then whoever finds it first gets an extra present. Ooh, so that's cool. Everyone always, and it would be like a deadly fight. <laughs> <laughs> we were throwing each other on the ground. If we thought we saw it, it was, it was like blood. How long did it take to find it? Well, I'm a master finder. So um, not that long. And our family, like, they weren't that great at hiding it. It was like, by the time I was 15, I could figure out, okay, I know my grandma likes to hide it in this place. My mom likes to hide it in this place. So you got to outsmart the system. <laughs> yeah, that's about, I mean, we have more, but yeah. Did you have a favorite Christmas ornament? Favorite Christmas ornament? It depended on the tree because, like, my grandma's and then the tree at my house and then I had a tree in my room and they were all decorated differently but I had my own ornaments for each tree so um like I had like a pizza slice that I love because you're obsessed with pizza yeah. how long have you been obsessed with pizza <laughs> I mean probably like my whole life <laughs> yeah um there was an angel that was supposed to be me I loved that one oh. I'm an angel <laughs> <laughs> yeah my family's Great tea into Christmas. So lots of good times. Is your Instagram Maggie's Pizzas? That was my Facebook, but I actually just deactivated it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Instagram is Flavor Town. Flavor Town, any numbers? One. Okay. At Flavor Town One. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Abe, how many siblings did you grow up with? So I grew up with two brothers and a sister. Mm-hmm. So, and for us, the big holiday, Thanksgiving really wasn't big for us. Christmas Eve was the big holiday. And I grew up, my dad's side is Mexican-Italian. So the holidays and really the family atmosphere was really geared towards my dad's side of the family. So every, being Catholic and, and Mexican and Italian, everyone had 10 kids. So we'd all get together. We'd draw, typically at Thanksgiving, we'd put names in a hat and everyone would get somebody to get a gift to. And so it's like a white elephant type thing? Like, like very, basically a white a white elephant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really not funny gifts, just like little things. The limit would be like. Oh, that's 20, more like. The limit would be like yeah, 20 bucks. So, white so basically, different. yeah, yeah. More, more, of a, more of a secret Santa. Mm-hmm. Um, but every year we do it at my aunt's house, who's the oldest sibling on my dad's side of the family. And uh, she was a, she's an artist, museum curator. So like her house was like decorated to the nines. Like I've never seen so many Christmas ornaments in my life. So it was fun, <laughs> like going to that atmosphere and like. As a little kid, you know, you got to be good. So we're trying not to like break anything. And me and my siblings were pretty, 
wild growing up, but the gift exchange was just really fun. Most of my cousins were older than me, so it was just kind of fun to interact with them, open up gifts. Like food was a, a very big part of us coming together. So like all the different food, Italian beef. Eat? Italian beef was always a big one, different types of pasta, shrimp, a lot of like finger food type mm-hmm. stuff. But it was just fun to like sit around, eat. As we got older, gambling became pre- prevalent. One of my mm-hmm. cousins married a guy who liked to play cards and we all kind of got into it. So like Texas Hold'em, Texas Hold'em. So mm-hmm. we typically over the past five years would play Hold'em. And that was a lot of fun just to like sit around with the guys around the big table. And still to this day, I don't get to sit at the big table. So at <laughs> <laughs> our, uh, in our Christmas Eve, we have, you know, the, the adult table and the kid table and I'm still sitting at the kid table. So, you know, maybe, maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll be able to, to go to the big kid table. So we'll see, but it, it was a lot of fun for me and still is to this day. Uh, just great to be, around family and, and feel that love. And so you go home every year? Typically, yeah. R- recently, I haven't just because I really don't like traveling. I like sleeping in my own bed, but at least every other year. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, because you travel for work sometimes. So Yeah, I, tra- I travel quite a bit. So when, when COVID isn't going on, 30 to 40% of my time is traveling. So And I used to do more, um, but, but like I said, I, it just kind of wears on me. And, and I like sleeping in my own bed. I feel you. I'm like that. I'm a homebody. Yeah. Yep. Not as much as Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Derek won't no. go to the house next door. Actually, no. I heard he went to the house next door we, yesterday. We did go to the neighbor's house. Yeah. He got, lo- he yeah. got lost. Yeah. He didn't lie. What are you doing out of the house? I what? lasted longer, though. You lasted longer? Yeah. yeah. He what, went home early. What did you guys do with your neighbor? Um, She's an older talked. woman, right? Yeah. She's yeah. like 65. Mm-hmm. She's awesome. Um, We just hung out in her backyard and... Drank champagne and Derek drank Damn. too much champagne. He had to go home and throw up. And <laughs> wow, the old lady don't drink him. Damn. Yeah, so I'm just like champagne me, lifestyle. Me and Catherine sitting talking about our trauma. <laughs> She's like telling me about her ex husband and all this stuff. It was fun. You were talking about kids earlier, so she brought her two grandsons over earlier in the day to jump on our trampoline. And they're looking in our backyard. And if you look at our house, it looks like we have like 12 kids. Um, <laughs> they're on our trampoline. <laughs> One of them goes, um, ma'am, where are your kids at? <laughs> and Derek and I were like, you're looking at them. It's, uh, it's us. Like, where are your kids at? <laughs> yeah. um, here's a shovel. Go dig over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh, shit. You guys should add a playground or like a jungle gym. That would really I finish it to. off back there. I'm a free house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a dog jungle gym right now. Who like, always gets on the trampoline when she goes over there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her and Frankie jump on it together. Dang. By herself, she'll just hop on it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she can jump high for even being a somewhat short dog. How big were these gatherings? Like, since you said so many people had 10 kids or whatever, like, how many, how big, like 50 people? I would, I would say at least 50. Yeah. Jeez, man. That's a big, like, my dad's side has quite a few people and that makes it a lot more fun. Like my mom's side has far less people and I have less cousins of my age. So it's just kind of like not that fun. Yeah. There's really no cousins hardly of my age, but on my dad's side, there's a bunch my age. So that makes it, that's what's what makes it fun, you know? Yeah. It was fun. Even for me, like growing up to be able to like spend the night, do a sleepover at my cousin's house or just see them. I mean, we did a lot of family things. Like once a year we'd get together, make tamales. So maybe every three months or so we'd get together and do some sort of like family thing. So it was just fun. And like I was saying, since they were older than me, it was just kind of interesting to see what they were doing. They were in college when I was in high school. One of my cousins lived in a biodome. What's a biodome? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So it's, uh, it's basically like a bubble where you're growing your own food. Basically you're kind of like secluded. So they actually made a movie about this with Polly Shore and some other guy, but basically she, she was in college and, and found out about this because her stepdad, so my, one of my uncles is a, a professor of biology, so I think he kind of like hooked her up with it, and she was always kind of doing wild shit, her mom being an artist, her stepdad uh, being a teacher, so it was just kind of fun to see like what she was doing. She teased me all the time, so it was just kind of fun interacting with her and Oh man, my, my cousins are older than me. They're cool. Look what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's how that, it is. That was yeah. that was a lot of fun. It's like, oh man, I want to wear what you know. Biodome. Biodome. Interesting. Kind of like the Martian. Uh, it basically makes a biodome on Mars. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. Pretty, <laughs> same same sort of thing. And, and and really, we might be going to that in the next couple months. Here, who knows? You yeah. know, we're already, already kind of living like that. So, but it was all about like self sustaining. Hey, if you're in this, can you self sustain? And I'm not sure how long she lived in it. I think she lived in it for six months so she was in it for a while 
<laughs> Are you allowed so, to leave? She didn't sustain. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you. Like I think it's like when you Davidians. when you sign up for it because there's so much money that goes into doing it. It's like when you sign up for it, you really have to stay. Probably because you have a job. Like, yeah, and if, yeah. If you, you leave, have a then someone has to take yeah. over your role. Yeah. And I think they might have had. I think there was like 10, 10 to fifteen people in it. And I think they maybe had one person leave, but it was like, hey, we're going to take you through some interview processes and we'll find out like, hey, are you really interested in are this? Are you fit like, for the bio uh, Yeah, are you going to survive? <laughs> have you ever committed. camped before? Have you ever, you know, <laughs> have you ever done these things? So I, I think pretty much everybody stayed. So it would be an interesting thing to live with that many people, try to survive. So especially if you don't know them very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of videos of people buying um, – just like really cheap property out in the woods and then just trying to sustain themselves and stuff like that. I feel like it's trending. Like van life is trending. And there's people that are doing these like homesteads, homesteading, I think yeah. is what it's called. Yeah. So, yeah, that's I think that's my pretty, dad's dream. It's interesting. Some of these people though, it's like you were clearly filthy rich before you fucking did this. Yeah. Like, you <laughs> sold a business. You went out in the woods. Like, yeah, you made all the, a lot of this stuff yourself, but like you have to have at least tens of thousands of dollars to even start to, to buy this yeah. land. And then, have the machinery and stuff like that to like build all this stuff. But then this one old guy, I mean, he's out there for like 30, 40 years with his wife. <laughs> they had three houses. Like, yeah, one of them they built like, and then they upgraded and built another one. And then the, finally they landed in this third one. And every time like the gardening got better, the structure got better, but it's like, geez, did you live with me in the woods for 40 years, Colleen? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's actually always trying to convince me, like, uh, boat life is really cool. Like, what is these people that live on a sailboat all, all year oh, no. long? Yeah. So I go to him, and I was like, do you know how to sail? And he was like, well, no, but, like, that doesn't matter. <laughs> and then uh, you, he was like. You figure it out pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not. You're a fast learner. <laughs> you, well, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he was like, well, like, I have this plan to make money. We're going to, like, run a, what was it? expedition going deep sea fishing this is like, me and derek's idea yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll do deep sea fishing tours we'll make a youtube channel and I'd we'll hold on, on and then sailboat. i was like do you no. know how to yeah. fish and he's like well no but like i mean i fish freshwater but not salt water <laughs> yeah but deep sea yeah. fishing is a spear different fishing, animal that'd be good I'd, I'd pay a grand to go spear fishing on your sailboat yeah <laughs> so, please, please don't encourage him Abe. <laughs> great idea i like where you're going yeah so no i don't want to live in the woods or on a sailboat okay that's fine <laughs> No, for me, that's something I think about a lot is like just buying a plot of land and like, especially living in Texas because the weather is so good. It's mm -hmm. like I could build very, like I could build a structure to live in, but then I could build several big structures that really would need like minimal electric and minimal, like I have an outdoor shower. Like to me, to me, like to live in Texas outdoors is pretty easy. You, you want to take me, an outdoor me, shower like today? Huh? You're going to take an outdoor shower today? Well, yeah, I'd do it. I mean, <laughs> to, this, to the 50s isn't bad. You know, I would probably wait till it warmed up. You, you walked you know, in I here would, and said cater. you were freezing. I only shower, I only shower <laughs> once a week, so, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but, I mean, I mean, I would generally, like, 75% of the year, you, know, yeah. you can, you can kind of live outdoors because the weather yeah. is so good here, so... To me, that's more of like, Living what, what, what do I, camping. what do I really need? And for me, it would be cool just to be, I'd be able to be outside all the time. Yeah. Like one of my favorite things is sleeping outdoors. <laughs> I love to sleep outdoors. And you can hear air, you can every water too, to use for your shower. Yeah. 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 So that's, I mean, there's so, there's so much new technology and, and easy ways to do it that you could heat it or, you know, put an outdoor tub, like wood burning outdoor tub. Right. There's so many different, or just have a jacuzzi or what, whatever. So. So there's a couple different ways. Got a lot but, yeah. of different options. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and your job has to do with structures. So, I mean, you have some. Yeah, I'm, I'm a civil engineer, so I've got a little background in that. My dad was a general contractor, so I grew up building houses. And, uh, yeah, I, I like doing stuff like that. I like working with my hands. Um, I like working with natural materials as well. Like, one thing that I find that's very interesting is people who just kind of, like, go into the woods with some basic shit and just build structures or build little livable spaces. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that interests me that I want to do in the future. I can see you doing that. I mean, I feel like every time I see you, you're like hanging from a tree. Or yeah, like you are. <laughs> that's my, fa that's my favorite thing, dude. Georgia put me in the trees, vibes. man. Yeah, put me in the trees. You know, that's, don't, it don't get no better. <laughs> so how much interaction do you think you need? Like, would you go out there? Like, are we talking like an hour outside of Austin? Because an hour outside of Austin, you can get somewhat remote. Yeah, I mean, an hour outside would be ideal like mm -hmm. i would still like to have some you know social interaction an hour outside of town ability would to get be, back would be yeah. ideal and like to buy groceries like i'd like to be able to uh grow my own food but like things like Ranch. buying groceries have the and, and, and interacting with people like mm -hmm. I, I would like to still be able to do that mm -hmm. so an hour would be ideal mm -hmm. that would be cool man i've always thought it'd be fun yeah 
thought about that. I require toilets, though. <laughs> With my irritable bowel syndrome, I need a toilet. <laughs> not, not really into outhouses too much? Not really. No, into... no, not at all. I re- now that I have a bidet, now oh, it's the bidet. really how are you? In, how are you liking that? You like it? You know, every time. You know, I'm look so, at that Whoa. smile. Look at that smile. Yeah. So you're into I know it. she's okay. lighting up. Yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. She's a twinkle in Whoa. my eye. She's blushing, You might have converted me. You know, I, know. I was a toilet paper guy, no, but now it, I might be converted. It's Damn. really changed the game. You know... Uh, and you guys got it right before COVID in a raffle, right? Well, I got accident. it at work for yeah. Christmas last year. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. Someone gave it to me. Thought thought that you know I would benefit from a bidet. Um, and uh, we didn't install it because well, I didn't really know how to do it, and I didn't want to. And then COVID came, and the toilet paper shortage happened, and we were like, we're straight. We've got this bidet installed. <laughs> Done. But yeah, I love it. Um, highly recommend. You can get one from Amazon for like 30 bucks. That's what mine is. I was over there and Tarek's like, dude, try try out the bidet. You, use, if you have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> use our toilet in our room. Try the bidet. I'm like, like, for a while, I was like avoiding it. I was like, all right, fine. Like, I'll try it. I mean, it's, it's, takes you some getting used to. You used my bidet? Yes, I used your bidet. <laughs> you should probably you're you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> It, Blame Derek. It's gross because weirdly, like a lot of shrapnel gets on it. <laughs> what? Like shit shrapnel. Oh, it's like, yeah. it's like. See, that's yeah. why I haven't gotten one. And because so I'm just... constantly disinfecting it. It's 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 a bit of maintenance. Yeah, it's for a bit sure. of maintenance. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. yours is yours one that connects underneath the toilet? Yeah. So okay. it just uses the same water from the toilet. Okay. Like very, it's pretty eco friendly. It goes very strong. <laughs> I use it on the highest setting. <laughs> Derek's a pussy. He can't do it. I still have to wipe after though because your ass is you soaking ha- it's wet. It's soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. the worst part because I end up using way more toilet paper because I do like a regular wipe first and then the bidet <laughs> and then I have to go in and clean up all the water <laughs> so you, they make ones where it'll like air condition your butt after that's my next purpose okay, okay. you need a heated seat and mm-hmm. air conditioned bidet yeah. yeah yeah i'm a fan of the heated seat but the bidet i could just never get used to it i don't know it's pretty nice yeah. i'm gonna have to for 20 bucks maybe i'll give it a, another whirl yeah. it's good for the <laughs> environment save some toilet yeah. paper yeah colleen do you have a best gift you ever received received either as a child or an adult um a best gift. Yeah. What's your favorite gift when you're a child that you're like, oh, this is the coolest gift I've ever gotten? Oh my gosh. Um, well, I can't think of my favorite gift, but I can think of the worst Christmas ever. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. a big turn there. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I have a few embarrassing Christmas gifts, but I remember one year. Um, you know, back when your mom used to drop you off at the mall with your friends and you would just wander around, right? Cause you couldn't drive yet. Me and my friends in like seventh grade got dropped off and I bought my first thong at Hot Topic. Oh yeah. Hot Topic. Oh, Not even oh, Victoria's yeah, yeah. Secret. It was some, yeah, something really cute. Oh, <laughs> I was in my emo phase, you know, seventh like grade. On it or yeah. Something? It was probably black and pink striped or something. So like cut my life into pieces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, <laughs> you've absolutely nailed it. Yeah. So, um, now that we've painted that image. So I, my mom wouldn't approve of thongs because, you know, I would have been like 11 or 12. So I hid it in the back of my drawer, right? Um, and then my mom found it like a couple weeks before Christmas and made this huge deal. We had like a conversation about thongs, like the whole family was talking about it. And then my drunk uncle um, got thongs that year for everyone for Christmas and put in everybody's stocking and <laughs> just to embarrass me. Nice. Wow. Yeah. At 11, you kind of deserve that. Mm, yeah, and they're all superhero <laughs> themed, like Batman, Spider-Man, like everyone got a thong, including the guys. So did they keep them or did they just give them to you? No, no, everyone got one them. in their own. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. What they, I mean, like the guys were probably like, I'm not going to wear this thong. <laughs> no, we Colleen. all kept our own thongs. <laughs> okay, you did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and who knows what your uncles did with them. Mm. <laughs> very true. <laughs> Do you still have those thongs? I did for a very long time, but I'm not sure where my... Uh, Superwoman thong went. I'll have to dig around. Can you tell me about the time you spit in your sister's face? Mm, I'm, I don't know <laughs> if I could tell that story. I think you can totally tell that story. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. <laughs> Touchy you, subject. You, you'll have to Damn. cut this piece. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it wasn't during That's Christmas. Thanks the for the present. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll have to make Laura tell that story sometime. Okay. All right. Do you have a best or worst gift, Maggie? You know, I was thinking about this. I was telling them um, 
My family, both sides of my family, they are very, very adamant. You make a list and we will get you exactly you what's twice. on your list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does it get approved by the big man? Do they send it up? It does. He signs off on yeah. it. Yeah. So, you know, every year I made a list of very specific things I want. I always got what was on the list, generally, unless it was too out of. Because you get everything the, you want, right? No. Well, I mean, there <laughs> Show us your ways, there all right? Like, Don't hold out on us. You we can wanna... get $100, you can get $200 worth of something, like depending mm -hmm. on who was buying it. So I picked something within that range. But one year, I think I was 12, um, it wasn't on my list, but m my grandparents surprised me with a bike on like my first big girl bike, mm. not with like the uh, handlebars that dip down. It was like straight across, it had brakes, <laughs> you know? Oh. And um, it had brakes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good, it's good, it's good to learn without brakes. brakes. It's good yeah. to learn. It's good to start well, off. And this was my first time on like a big girl bike like that. You know, I didn't. Didn't really know. So um, my uncle, who is not in the family anymore, but um, he was like a videographer and he was always filming everything. And so he's filming me riding my bike around in the cul-de-sac and I'm having the best time of my life. And I just don't know what I'm doing because I've never been on a big bike like this. And so like I'm riding and right here is the cul-de-sac and there's a basketball post or basketball goal but one of those like indiana ones with the plastic thing where you put sand in it oh, it's yeah. not like cement water or sand water yeah. or whatever yeah. and i'm just like smiling at the camera and go f like plant right into that plastic part <laughs> mm -hmm. and my uncle gets this whole thing on film the bike and me just like somersault over into the air I wish he was still in my life because I want this video so bad. It was so embarrassing. I want to see it. I know. He's, he's always like, for years, I'm going to play this at your wedding. This is so hilarious. He like made like slow-mo videos of it. And like, me going forward, 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 forward. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, that was probably my, my most fun gift. But yeah. That's, nice. That's, that's a it. good one. Having a real bike, a nice one is, man, it's, it's really, well, really nice. Well, I had nice. nowhere to ride it because we lived in the woods, so. Mm. You didn't ride in the woods? It was not, not really a mountain bike. What, was uh, it a road bike? I don't know. It was no, purple. It was, okay. <laughs> I, I have a bike story. Because actually, that was my favorite gift when I was a kid. Is I got this cool-ass, like, metallic silver, it was like a dino comp bike. I think I was, like, middle school, maybe. Yeah, middle school, I think so. And I was like, oh, this bike's super cool. I took it to... Like sometime after Christmas or whatever, I I didn't have it for too long. I took it to the June Jamboree. What's that? Um, which is this? <laughs> Explain what the hell shitty, that is. It's a shitty little. If you fair weren't there, you should ask. In Pendleton, Indiana, it's like a <laughs> carnival in Pendleton, Indiana. Yo, 4, if I grew people. up in Indiana and I didn't know what the June Jamboree is, <laughs> it was actually like one of the coolest Small things shit. that ever happened in town. Was the June Jamboree. <laughs> Um, right. and I took it there and I mean, I was, <laughs> for one, they didn't buy me a lock. So it was like, I get there. I'm like, I shove it under a tree, like a big pine tree. You can't really see it, but I bet you one of the carnival people that like have their trailers and stuff like saw me doing it. So I go to the June Jamboree and hang out, which you think is the coolest thing in the world. It's a <laughs> stupid ass carnival. It's so dumb. And then I go back to get my bike and of course it's not there anymore. And then I get home and I tell my parents like, you know, my bike got stolen and my dad's pissed at me. And I'm like, fuck you. I'm in middle school. Also, <laughs> no one bought known. me a fucking lock. Like, you just let me ride this bike around town without a lock. Like, you know, it's my fault that it got stolen. Like, I didn't know like, that you needed to lock your bike on something until uh, three years ago. I didn't. I thought you just, like, put your kickstand down and left mm -hmm. it. Didn't know that. If you want to donate it, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And when are you going to get your first big boy bike and, you know, stop riding the trikes everywhere? I have a bike. You've seen my two-wheeler. You've seen my two-wheeler. I, two just, I just got one. You got, a, you got a bike? Well, it's Dave's bike. Mm. I bought it from him. Mm -hmm. Oh, you bought it from him? Yeah. Um, Why didn't he want it anymore? I just don't want he, has a, he got a better one. Mm. And this He's bike too good for me. that one now. Yeah. Too good for it. But. I haven't been on a bike, so I'm 27. The last time I rode a bike when I was 14, and so started riding one this year, and I was like, damn, this shit is fun. <laughs> Holy got a bike so recently. Fun. I said the same yeah. thing. I was like, holy shit, that you can travel like way faster. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now, <laughs> it, it hurts. 
It can hurt your butt a little bit. I got a really padded, like, <laughs> Well, I got to get one. Mm -hmm. the, the key is setting the seat height. That's important. Like, setting it up for you. Yeah. Handlebar seat. I was going to say, you bought That's... a men's bike. Like, does it actually fit you? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, I okay. mean, like, Dave's, like, only two inches taller, taller than, than you. me. Okay. Or three inches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it fits me, but the the seat so uncomfortable. Like my crotch will be bruised. Yeah, the groin muscles. Whew, you got to get one of those. It's like a rubber topper that I put on my seat. It works I'm great. Get, the get on butt Amazon. Pad pants. See, my stepdad those are, has the those butt are good pad too. pants. Those are all right, but I, <laughs> they're kind of uncomfortable, in my opinion. I think if you get that thick, like rubber seat thing, uh, that's better. Yeah. It's I, like a gel pad, actually. I need to know, like, what are some other cool... Do people still put streamers on the handlebars? No, LED lights. You can you do whatever you want. Lights the in the wheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lights okay, in the wheels Okay, the bike the game has changed yeah. since I was last in it. Basically, LED all possibilities. Lights. LED, you can, like, program it on your phone, you know. Any, like, <laughs> what? glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm still, like, thinking I need, like, a ding-ding, like, one of those bells that you press Yeah, you in. can get a bell. All shapes and, and sizes. streamer? Oh. Streamers are good. Those are you should get some of those. I want some. Decorated a little bit. Yeah. Like a little basket. Make it yours. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this girl riding a bike downtown, one of those ones that you rent that has the basket in it. And she had a dog. I'm not kidding you. It was no bigger than my water bottle <laughs> in the basket. <laughs> and the dog's t tongue was just like sticking out on Congress mm. Avenue. Like wailing it was hilarious i love when people ride around with their dogs i know put them in a backpack and you can see the head sticking out or they got them yeah. in the front yeah or they got them in the wagon in the back there's two dogs back there yeah or in my case i just throw a saddle on my dog <laughs> yeah yeah i saw this um this person on instagram that i follow she is like a beer um uh, influencer here in austin Ooh. and she has a cat but she has this plastic mm. clear backpack that she takes her cat in and the backpack has vents in it and it's all enclosed and the cat just sits in this plastic backpack and she carries it it's crazy and then when you set it down it expands and it looks like a, a carrying case but it's a clear backpack that's super high tech it is oh so how many siblings do you have i have three siblings three three i have two two five um so i have three brothers and two sisters okay okay What's the worst fight you got in with one of your siblings? The worst fight I got into when I was in elementary school, me and my brother Nick, I don't know what the fuck we were fighting over, but basically we were in the back of the bus just punching each other, and then I got so upset, I pushed his head, and it hit the window, and I broke it. No, oh, God. I did that to my brother. I was pulling down the bus. So <laughs> they had to call in my parents, and yeah, me and my brothers were just fighting all the time all the time fighting breaking shit but that was a bad one like when i think about it to this day like it kind of makes me sick i'm like what a fucking asshole i can't believe i pushed my brother's head into a window <laughs> i pushed yeah. my brother through a window once too oh it's okay like through a window in a house like on oh, what story are we on the first the first <laughs> okay, okay. yeah <laughs> jake um, yeah my brother that lives with us or jake god he's such a nice kid okay he's a nice kid now <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't then i don't believe you up until Seriously, like two and a half years ago when he first came to visit us in Austin when I lived here, that was the first time I met him and I was like, you are not a freaking asshole. <laughs> um, we hated each other my whole life growing up. He was so evil. He was always the kid at daycare that was like biting kids and like tearing their flesh off He's of their so arms. He's so nice. How, I know. how much younger is he than Six you? Six years younger okay. than me. Um, he was an evil, evil, evil little child and he loved to instigate. And of course, because I'm the older one, he would be wailing on me, beating the shit out of me. But then I would retaliate and then he'd start crying and, <laughs> and, and say it was him. But one time, I don't remember how old I was. My sister was definitely born because she remembers it and she always talks about it. But we were in our office, like our parents' office, which is really just like the the garbage room, like where they put all the shit that they don't want in the house and like the clothes that they want to get rid of um and like the old computer that i watched youtube porn on when i was 12 um <laughs> youtube has porn nice. no it, I, would, I would youtube two girls kissing <laughs> i didn't know that porn site yeah, yeah. 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 Two two girls kissing. Yeah, that two is seriously where every 12 year old girl starts yeah yeah <laughs> two girls 
interesting. And it never changed. So that's like still what I want. Um, but yeah, I pushed my brother through the window and his arm went through and broke the glass. But did, he, did he get cut? I don't remember. Like I didn't give a shit. He was fine. He was <laughs> she, she never looked back. I left him. I like, left him no, to no, die. I don't think he did. Like it because I think it was one of those I, I would remember if there was blood and it was a big deal because I feel like it was just one of those things where like the window broke and it cracked and he was fine and my mom was pissed at me because I broke the window but like didn't didn't care that my brother had like just gotten pushed through a window so <laughs> yeah me and my sister used to just when we were much younger because she's a year and a half two years older than me so we could only fight for so long before like being a boy you just get too big but we used to just sit on the ground just kicking at each other like backwards just kicking at each other like, i used to drown bite. my brother <laughs> you should drown when your we brother? were taking baths i would hold him under the water <laughs> no wonder he was so mean wow like, at school like I have no power at home. My sister's beating me up. I'm going to bite this kid. Ah. He started. He would always start it. And you'd be like, I'm going to finish it. And I would finish it. <laughs> would he bite you? Yeah. Damn. That's. Yeah. If he's watching this. He's like, God damn it. Like, he has, he has no way to retaliate or like <laughs> argue the other side. He's like, this kid. is not true. He had like, I always forget what that dinosaur is. Um, uh, maybe. Uh, it's the one from The Lost World, the second Jurassic Park movie with the really strong skull and it can just like ram into triceratops? things. Not the triceratops, it's like, <laughs> not a gallimimus. Uh, and it has the tail with the spikes? No, uh, I forget, I, I can foot. look it up later. No, no, no. <laughs> I was like a Petri? really sharp, really <laughs> oh, yeah, sharp Petri. skull, then they use the skull <laughs> so as like their main defense mechanism because it's super strong. And that's how my brother was. <laughs> No, You're I'm just making stuff up. up. <laughs> I'm not yeah. making up dinosaur names. Someone else talk. I'll look it up. Spike? <laughs> oh, yeah. A spike tail? He was yeah. cute, too. Yeah, he was cute. Um, that, is, I, that was one of my favorite movies. What was your favorite Disney movie? Mulan. Mulan? And actually, I just saw the new Mulan last night, and it was really good. I highly recommend it. I'm going to watch it tonight. Yeah, it's really good. They cut out a lot of the like funny songs, so if anyone has seen Mulan. Oh, thank goodness. Ah. Got it. Can't stand it when they're all musical. Pachycephalosaurus. <laughs> okay, I never would have guessed Whoa, that. Damn, yeah, that was on the tip of my tongue. I know, right? <laughs> it was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Did you have a favorite Disney movie? Um, yeah, Land Before Time and Rescuers Down Under. Mm, mine, mine was Fantasia. <laughs> okay, which I think makes a lot of sense because they're still dancing mushrooms and stuff like that. It's like this whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to lava a lamp really bad. Got a lava lamp over there. They don't make them like they used to. That's my second one. The first one broke. Well, that's not what I want. I, I'm thinking, you know, speaking of the bike technology we were talking about. So I'm over here the other night in bed Googling lava lamps because I'm like, surely in the last 15 years, we've we've created cooler lava lamps. <laughs> like It's gone downhill, if anything. Lava lamps that are, you know. It was never the same. Multiple stories are like turning around and then you know of course Derek's like well Maggie that's like not how physics works the lava lamps can't go upside down so I'm like whatever so then I find this uh octopus lava lamp Ooh. that looks Ooh. like an aquarium it's super cool that's the coolest one I can find but yeah everything else is still like that how, bi how big is it is it like a like a tank not that big no it's just like that size basically okay. it was only 80 bucks but it's lava that's on my Christmas list, Mom. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Colleen, what's the worst fight you got in with your siblings? <laughs> you try again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spit when you spit in your sister's face. She hot to leave. When I talk yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Jeez. So it's circling back around. <laughs> all right. So my family would always drive everywhere for all the holidays, and I, it was either Thanksgiving or Christmas. We did a road trip to North Carolina from Boston. So I think that's like around twenty hours. And so wait. <laughs> From really, I think it's around. I have 20, like I no remember. East Coast geography. Uh, my geography is on a first grade level, so do not ask me any questions about geography. That's longer than driving from Austin to Indiana. It is, yeah. It's well, and well, if you have six people in the car, it probably stops. And how many times do you pee. stop in to pee? You know, fair amount. Um, but yeah, so we're driving. We're probably on like hour fifteen, and we're doing it. Oh, it's definitely Thanksgiving because it was like a, we only had five days, and so two full days we're driving. I was a dumb idea. And um, my, I was laying there reading. It was probably like two in the morning. We had a big suburban with three rows. You know, we had so many kids. And my little sister was like seven or eight, and she's way cuter than I am. She's like 
really blonde hair, big blue eyes. She was like always the baby. Porn star platinum? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not porn star platinum. Yes. <laughs> Colleen, Colleen said earlier she wanted to be porn star platinum blonde. Yeah, and if bit. you can yeah. see the video, I yeah. clearly failed and had to cover it up. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's like a cute, dirty blonde. And so she kept leaning over the car seat and she like found a pair of my mom's underwear you know which are like huge and like dirty underwear and kept like rubbing them in my face as i was reading and then hiding like back behind the seat <laughs> i know Abe, you're and like, they were dirty disgusting. why were your mom's dirty underwear that's in for car. another podcast but <laughs> <laughs> that's low that's that i deserved, know and so she I kept, deserved getting spit in the face <laughs> right and i was like 12 or 13 like super moody and gross and like covered in acne and braces and like i turned to her and i was like Laura, if you rub that underwear in my face one more time, I'm going to spit on you. Because, you know, we weren't allowed to hit each other. Violence was, like, really uh, hammered into us. It was, like, absolutely not okay. So it was all I could think of. And so she did it again and, like, rubbed the underwear in my face. And I leaned over and, like, hacked a giant loogie in her face. Nice. And it was, like, this giant meltdown in the car because she started sobbing hysterically. And we had to all pull over at, like, a Friendly's at 2 in the morning. <laughs> oh, Friendly's. I love that place. Yeah, like a 24-hour Friendly's. And only I was in trouble, obviously, because Laura was so incredibly cute. So, <laughs> yep. And it was finally, like, five years later she admitted what she was doing because all she would say was, Colleen, spit a giant loogie in my face. <laughs> <laughs> there was like no other part of the story. Like Colleen just randomly decided to spit right on Laura. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. I still want to know why your mom's dirty. Okay, mm. not to judge because I used to take underwear off in my car and put them in like the back. Oh yeah, yeah, seat, yeah. yeah. I used to change in the car all the time because I when I worked two jobs, I would just yeah. change while I was driving, and I drove a stick shift, so that was incredibly impressive. Yeah, if you're like <laughs> driving and you're like gonna go. You're on your way to like hook up with someone, you're mm, like, yeah. yeah, I don't want to wear these yeah, underwear. Better ship the underwear or, out. I'm gonna take no underwear. <laughs> yeah. You just take them off. Yeah, I remember like when I sold my car that I had uh, when I, I was 20. When I sold it, I had to like go into the back pockets of the seats, and I was just like pulling out underwear. <laughs> like, oh shit! It was like underwear, and then scraping boogers off the side of my driver's side seat just like that oh was God. my big task <laughs> to sell my car did you pick your nose in your car a lot oh hell yeah who doesn't pick like that's like the number one I, place I throw it outside I do my the car best <laughs> nose picking yeah, yeah. i don't put it in the car you gotta throw you know I, even with the yeah. underwear I, I take them off and i throw them out the oh, window yeah, yeah. i just keep some clean ones in the car yeah yeah, yeah. backups yeah no but i had like cloth seats so you know when you, you pick just, it and you and then, wipe it and then it was four years of accumulated boogers on nice. this seat. Was it kind of sad when you had to clean it up? And It was, yeah. You know, like I wanted to like gold member, put them in a little tin, like puts his, yeah, yeah. his scabs, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it was gross. To have, you done best, have you done best or worst gift? No, he hasn't. Uh, no. Best, best gift I got when I was probably 12, my dad got me a compound bow. Ooh. And I never hunted with it, but I just loved shooting it. We'd go camping all the time, and there was a like a target little range. It was a target range that we'd go to, and it was just fun to just go there and shoot. And also in my backyard, shoot at my neighbors. That was kind of fun. Cool. You cool. shot at your neighbors? No, I was just in. <laughs> Never at the neighbors, but. I, I get it. I used to shoot a gun, a pistol, in my dad's backyard, and we didn't have a backstop, but he had plenty of land. This was after, this is like I was probably in college or past college. My parents were split. He lived elsewhere in Mooresville, Indiana. And I just shot at this tree and it was fine. But the neighbors called the cops one day because they had kids over in their yard and they had a backstop and an actual shooting range in their yard. <laughs> what, kind, what kind of gun was it? Something small? It was, like a, Taurus, it was a Taurus 9 millimeter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so the cops came. They saw that it's like, well, you're not dicking around. You're just shooting at this target. They're like, we don't really care. Technically, you're supposed to have a backstop. It's also, this is Mooresville, Indiana. Like, yeah. Everybody's it. shooting. And also, because yeah. you are. A All white the stop male. signs, but you can't even read them. <laughs> bullet holes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But um, I just thought that was interesting. But the neighbor said I could shoot at their place. So then eventually I did because they did have a backstop. But yeah, shooting story. So what was your worst gift? Can you remember anything? <sighs> worst gift. I don't really gift have a worst I've gift ever... either. <laughs> worst gift I, I've ever got. One year my dad sent me a card and it was just a card and it was like something about like you're getting diddly and squat. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, this, will, yeah, you, you. all you get is this card. And I was like, damn. And then he wrote the diddly and squat little just to like jab at me. And I was like, damn, man, fuck you. Why are you gonna... <laughs> Were you bad that year? <laughs> I don't know what. I, I, I thought I was good, but apparently I did something <laughs> wrong. <laughs> nice, nice. 
My best gift was probably that bike. My worst gift, I can't really think of one. You can't think of any worst gifts? No. My favorite gifts were really just like games when I was a kid, just playing games. Was like my favorite video thing. games? Yeah, video games. My uh, uncle soldered a mod chip into my PlayStation 1, and so I would always ride my bike to the video to go, which was not far from my house, and I'd rent as many games as I could. I'd give them all to my dad. He'd burn all of them. Because the mod chip allows you to play copied games, so usually it would detect that. So I just thought that was so cool and nerdy. I was like, oh, my uncle, he can like, he must be a genius. Like, he can solder a chip into my PlayStation 1. <laughs> like, yeah. he's a smart guy. I don't know. How, how did he know how to do that? He's some kind of engineer. I don't okay. know exactly what kind of engineer he is. I should probably know by now because I've talked to him so many times. Because that's but, pretty awesome to be able to, like, basically any game you want. Like, <laughs> I had a stack of PlayStation games, like, that high. It was just so many copy discs. It was awesome. That's like how my uncle that I was talking about with the camera, uh, because he did the videography thing. Back when I was in middle school, when LimeWire was a thing and you could burn <laughs> CDs, he had that whole setup in his office. It was kind of like a studio like this, you know, just full of stuff. And mm -hmm. one Christmas, um, he was like, yeah, Maggie, you can burn some CDs to listen to. And I was like, hell yeah. So I made two CDs. Each had like 12 to 13 songs on it. And then one CD just had the song Back That Ass Up by Juvenile on it. 12 times <laughs> classic just an all-time classic I, I didn't know I mean. you could like just hit repeat you know i thought if i wanted to listen to a song over and over again i had to put this song on 12 times so yeah that was a, that was another great christmas gift that's cool hmm. yep so who was the favorite child colleen Definitely Laura. Definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely Laura. Everyone will say it. And I know like some moms are like, oh, I'm Switzerland. I'm so neutral. Like my mom's the exact opposite. She's like, oh, you finish it all this year. Like you're definitely like on the bottom of the totem pole. It was so bad actually that uh, my older sister is a doctor and my brother's a chemical engineer. So we used to call them the D1 team and me and my little sister, the D2 team. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> yeah. That's growing so up. Sad. I mean, you know, we're just not as competitive, more type B on the yeah. on the younger side, but Yep. <laughs> well, you. Um my mom liked my brother and my dad liked my sister, but now they both like me the most. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Abe? You've got a lot of competition over there. Yeah, I was definitely the favorite. I was a firstborn AB baby. I was yeah, you ask him to this day. I'm numero uno. It's a hard. It's a hard life being number I was one. You know? It's a hard life. Still. It's not for everyone. You know. It's hard. Yeah, I know. know. <laughs> what did your brothers and sisters get that year? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> my parents call Cole. me firstborn. Like that's what they like write on my cards. Firstborn. Damn, you are nice. Yeah. <laughs> but didn't last for long. Once well, my brother came around. At least you got a taste of it. When we call my brother the golden boy. Uh, whatever jake wants whatever jake got. wants jake gets yeah. even though he bites kids at school yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn a biter yeah. that's intense i'm glad i never had to go to daycare with a kid who bit me yeah i mean he was like always on the verge of getting kicked out but they couldn't kick us out because like the daycare lady had been taking care of me since i was born and she was like part of our family so i couldn't get kicked out most of the other kids left <laughs> <laughs> they lost a lot of business <laughs> yeah. yeah my sister would say that i was the favorite and she's probably right i'm not gonna argue with her yeah you but are. she's definitely the favorite now yeah she's she, the favorite now <laughs> she's probably the favorite now because she they just moved in next to my parents across the street from my mom and my stepdad and they have two really cute kids and yep. they have two kids yep and the kids are really cute <laughs> yeah boyd asked you to like we were at the lake, and he's like, throw me to the ceiling. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, just throwing him up. Every time he does something cool, he's like, do again, do again. Yeah. <laughs> throw me through the ceiling again. <laughs> Justin just looked at him and was like, don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so the first the time snake. I met this little two-year-old, uh, you had to hold him when you're swimming in the lake with him. So I was taking my turn holding him and swimming so he could pee or something. And we were like far away from everyone else. And he just turns and looks at me and just goes, I love you. <laughs> <I'm probably laughs> like, <part> melted. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was out of nowhere. It was so adorable. And I was like, oh, God, I love you, too, man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, has Derek ever told you the story about the first time I met his little brother who's 10? 
No, I'd love to meet Derek's little brother. Okay. <laughs> no, who you want to meet is his little sister. She's eight. She is awesome. She's mm-hmm. hilarious. But his little brother, who's 10 now, I met him when he was four. And um, we went camping. And this was like my first time also meeting Derek's dad. And um, we were camping. The little boy, his name's Kai. He very attached to me immediately. And we're like playing. He's like, will you come to my tent? <laughs> So I go in his little tent with him, and we're just, like, sitting there playing, sitting cross-legged across from each other. And he looks at me, and he goes, let's kiss and see what happens. (laughs) (laughs) And I just unzip the tent, and I come running out, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but he just said this to me. And now now he's older. We tell him that he said that, and he just gets so embarrassed. But it was so weird. I was like... What do you think is going to happen? What a line, man. You're that's four. I got to remember I that. That's what that's I said. I said that's kiss and see what happens. That's I the like best that. Pick up line anyone has ever Damn. used on me. <laughs> Let's kiss and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe you'll turn into a frog. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. I, I mean, I prefer the line like, "Let's just see what comes natural." <laughs> <laughs> kids, they say the darndest things. Do any of your siblings have kids? Yeah, so one of my brothers just had his second, and then the one who you met just had his first, so she's six months old. So I got a brother with a daughter who's, like, about two, and then he's got a newborn son, and then my other brother has a newborn daughter. And it's it's funny, my brother with the two kids, because his daughter is just this tiny, little, blue-eyed, blonde-haired girl, and the new baby boy came out at, like, nine pounds, and he's just enormous. And my brother's <laughs> wife is, like... I don't know, five three, maybe eighty pounds soaking wet. And how tall is your brother? So my brother's six him. three. He's he's a big guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's it's kind of, but it's kind of funny to see the the two different children because the boy is just huge, and my brother's wife, her dad is like six four. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of funny to see the 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 two kids next to each other. But it's been fun. It's been exciting. I've been happy for both my brothers. Like my my brother who just had his first kid, he kind of planned it all. He's like, you know, I've I've done everything I wanted to do. I lived in the city. Chicago, I've traveled, I've lived all, all internationally. And he was like, you know, I, I want to settle down. And, and he met a sweet girl and they've settled down. She's from Iowa and it's, it's been fun seeing them. They send videos and pictures all the time. So it's, it's, it's fun that I'm here in Texas and still have that connection. And one of the best things for me is uh, seeing my dad because it just brings like so much life into my dad. Aww. He just, he loves being a grandfather. It's so much fun for him. And that's, to me, that's been one of the, the best parts to see my parents as grandparents. It's just been a lot, a lot of fun. I can tell that my mom and my stepdad are loving it too, especially with them moving in across the street. Like they're just totally enjoying having these little kids around. <laughs> are they, do you think that your parents are different as grandparents than they were as parents to you? Yeah, I, I think so. Because me growing up, I, I bounced around. So I didn't live with my parents and, and my brothers didn't either. So we bounced around a lot as a kid. So I think my dad, he just has a little bit more appreciation. He has an appreciation for the family that we've, we've had a lot of issues, but we've kind of still managed to come together and make it work. So I can kind of see that in his interactions. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And my dad's a wild man. He's got dreads and all kinds of piercings (laughs) and covered with tattoos. So it's fun. You know, he always getting the kids little hippie tie dye stuff and all kinds of unique stuff. So it's, it's fun seeing his influence and, and my dad has a lot of love just for everyone. Just like every, everyone loves my dad. It's, he's a friendly guy to be around. So, but I think this is just kind of gave him like a kind of new appreciation for life. He's retired. So ha- having the grandkids has been a lot of fun for him. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. recently came to visit you, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Yep. He was here for a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was a lot of fun. He didn't want to leave when he left. He's like, man, we got to figure out a way for me to come back here. I'm like, yeah, man, I know the, the weather's great, you know, like great food. Like, you know, it's, it's real rough for me living in Austin. You know, it's a tough, yeah. it's a tough life for me here. So it was, and it was good just to hang out with him. Uh, I love my dad a lot. He's, uh, has, has a unique perspective on life. Uh, my brother told me recently, or this was maybe five years ago, my brother and my dad were talking and he said, my dad said, well, if you thought about doing it, I've done it twice. So, <laughs> that's um, awesome. my dad has a lot of experience and I have a lot of respect for him ra- raising a big, big family and, and keeping it all together. So mm-hmm. did you notice that someone rearranged some shit on your porch? Like, 
a little bit I ago? did. I was like, who, what <laughs> asshole would, you know? But the, the saving grace was they left this beer and I drank it and damn, it was good. I just, I just got home and there's a beer sitting on my what door. What they do to your and patio it was, or your porch? So out, outside my apartment, I have a bunch of like paddles for kayaking and canoeing. Cacti. Cac, a bunch, a bunch of cacti, a little, a little, a little uh, table to drink coffee at. So I came home. So I think this was last week at some point and the paddles were all up against my door moved around. Then there was a beer and I was trying to figure out for the longest time. And when I came over today, Colleen mentioned something. Oh, so, she, but she there's not, not, nothing like getting an ice cold uh, beer on your door. So that was, that was good. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say there was like a bag of shit on your door or something. No, we thank, left them a beer. We yeah. just right. They, they were right. nice. They're, they're going to wait till after the holidays and do that. Yeah. <laughs> Did that, anyone ever do that to you when you were a kid, let a bag of shit on fire? No, I thought about doing it to several people, though, but (laughs) it hasn't been done to me yet. There was this gaggle of boys in my junior high that would do that to people's houses. It was so evil. I love the word gaggle. It's one of my favorite words. (laughs) That's very rarely used. Gaggle of guys. Gaggle of... (laughs) Yeah, that day, me and Colleen struck out. We were just like, we were out in, we were in town. Like, we tried to visit, like, five friends. No one answered. And we are just like, we're such losers. Let's just go home. No, like, hardly anyone lives in SoCo that we hang out with. We're always at SoCo. Ben lives there, but he's been gone for months. Ben, if you're watching this, come Fuck home. You, Fuck, Fuck you, Ben. Fuck you, Ben. First off, second off, come home. Um, Staying in up- like like a timeshare that is like yeah. this really nice house that's owned by a family member. <laughs> yeah, must be nice just being able to hightail it out of your home mm-hmm. for yeah. four months. Yeah, I wish I had a spare house to hang out in. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. I need to work on that. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? No, Ben, yeah. we love you. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that was He's, a, he's all right. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's, not he's right. an all right neighbor. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> not your favorite. But. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Great beard, though. Yes, great beard. Mm-hmm. Good beard, Ben. Good beard, Ben. Good. Yeah. Yeah, good bearded Ben. Uh, you trying to suck <laughs> oh, the dick yeah, of yeah, the Yeah, take it easy. Take it easy on that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize I was looking yeah. at me. <laughs> Yeah, we were all, all eyes on Colleen. Yeah. Are you trying to say let's kiss and see where it goes? Yeah, let's kiss and see what happens. Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> it will come naturally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's definitely going on camera though. I want to zoom into you doing that. Yeah. So if anyone's joining, you cannot deep throat these microphones. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> too big. They're too wide. They're way too large. <laughs> oh man. Well, I mean, we're running close to end of time. I don't really have anything else to say. Um, can anyone think of anything? And we can cut this part out. It doesn't matter. Just like, is there anything anyone list. wants to talk about? Something Christmas related? Oh, yeah. We can, we can look at your... Do you want to comment on your kid pictures? I don't have to look at oh, them now. Oh, sure. I can, I, can, I can pull them up later. I sent you some, some pictures. Take a, take I sent you three. I want the video of that bike. You okay, flipping over so, that bike. So that we, need to, some... we need to find that. We need to... <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> the first one that I sent you, me and this, uh, like, princess outfit. That's gorgeous. So, <laughs> great story. So, that was from a life-size Barbie doll. Let me see. Let me see this. So, this, oh. this outfit was Show on the her. life-size Barbie, but... Rough Christmases. And, and then, so, this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna link the next two pictures together, because the next picture is me with the Heart of the Ocean necklace. Okay. So oh, I like that were, dress, too. I like the burgundy. Thank you. You guys were talking <laughs> about your flair. favorite Disney movies. Mm-hmm. I did not really watch a Disney movie till middle school. I'm sorry. Because I only watched Titanic and Dirty Dancing exclusively when okay. I was a kid. Disney's depressing. Someone always dies. Like every Disney movie, someone dies. Yeah. So I, well, it wasn't even that. I mean, I just love these older movies. So I got this life-size Barbie doll and I took all the clothes off of it, which is why I'm wearing them because they reminded me of Rose's outfit. So the no. Titanic left the Barbie doll naked, and then this Barbie doll just became my Jack Dawson, and I would. What's Jack Dawson? From the Titanic, the Titanic. Oh, Leo okay. DiCaprio's okay. character, okay, nice. and so I would make out with it. I would reenact <laughs> the car where she's like they're having sex in the car with the steamy window with this doll. Yeah, actually, it was real weird. <laughs> my parents were about- real concerned about me for a long time because <laughs> I was just like always with this life-size Barbie doll naked, like doing weird things with it. Oh, it was a life-size one. Yeah, life-size it was like three Ken. feet tall. So that outfit I'm Dang. wearing that that. 
princess outfit, that was what the Barbie came dressed in. And then you wore that wow. and you left and the Barbie I naked. I wore that and left the Barbie naked because that looked more like a boy, aka oh Jack God. Dawson. Even though you watched females making out, but you wanted your <laughs> female Barbie doll to look like a boy. Yeah. <laughs> when I got that Heart of the Ocean necklace, that was my favorite. And then, yeah, that's just me and my evil brother, Jake. That picture with Santa. Is that Biter Jake? Is that Biter Jake. Jake? You know, another Biter. week you should get Jake <laughs> on the looks, podcast. He looks <laughs> evil just in this picture. Look at well, him. He's like trying to get away. Don't be so hard on the with boy. You know, he had a face. He looks like the kid head. He looks like the kid from Home Alone. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. I, like his, I like his bibs. He's got a nice set of bibs yeah. on there. Yeah. Um. Those are all my Christmas pictures I had on my phone. So. Okay. That's it. Hey, FIA listeners. Just before this episode is over, I want to give you one more quick friendly reminder to please like and subscribe to the podcast on your favorite podcast player. Thanks again. When did everyone stop believing in Santa? Guess at what age it was. Mm, probably pretty young because I had a bunch of older siblings, so mm. we were all faking it for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know when I stopped believing. You said you had, I had to fake to, it for a long time. I had to time. fake it till I was 18. Yeah, you had the opposite problem. You were the oldest. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, my, I remember my mom sat me down and she told me, hey, you know, just so you know, like, it's unrealistic to think that one person can do all of this stuff in one night. So it's me. I think she also wanted the glory of like, I'm the one that got you these gifts, wrapped mm -hmm. them, made the house look nice for you. I think mm -hmm. she wanted that for herself. But yeah. What about you? I think I was about 10. Okay. I don't know how. It just kind of gradually, I was like, oh, okay. This sounds like I bullshit. also yeah, snooped I like, for oh, presents. Okay, I think I'm I saw my dad so putting out the gifts. so bad about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used I'm to a open mine and retape them. I would go out oh and I would God. open them and then I would just like put tape right back over the my, tape. So my like parents, I knew what half the shit was by the time we even opened them. They wouldn't them. wrap them until the night before, but shit. they would hide them in certain places in the house, like in like utility closets or the garage somewhere where it just looked like junk. But I was always a snooper and I'm still like this. Derek hates it. I'll look everywhere <laughs> to be like, I'm going to find a gift. I know there's a gift for me somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was like that dickhead kid at the lunch table. It's like, you know Santa's not real, right? I'm not surprised, <laughs> yes, really, he Justin. Real, Justin. No, he's not real. <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> and then Justin punches him. <laughs> yeah. Hawks no. a yeah. on him. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't as mean as you. What? What's, what's, you what's your favorite Christmas movie? Favorite Christmas movie? Mm, damn. Die Hard. Dude, Die Hard. Nice. Die Hard is nice. a good Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. movie. It is. It is. It is. Um, oh man, that 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 Kurt Russell movie that they put on Christmas Netflix. Christmas Chronicles. Yeah, that was pretty good. We love that recent movie. Christmas movie. They just made a second one. It just came I out. I started watching it. and I turned it off after ten minutes, but I didn't give it much time. But yeah. First okay. one was great. What about love you? Kurt Russell. A Christmas Story. Christmas Story. Yep. Now what? Oh, twenty four. That's, that's twenty four hours out. on TNT. He gets he gets a Red Rider BB gun. Okay. Reggie okay. Lay. Yeah. That, I have the bunny. The, the leg from lamp. That. Oh, I have no the shit. Of that, like this huge bunny thing with the huge ears. But you didn't Damn, know. Never even seen the movie. So you're like the equivalent of a college girl wearing a Def Leppard t-shirt <laughs> and not well, knowing who I Def Leppard is. I got that onesie in a gift exchange on my dad's side with the white elephant, and I then I went and put it on right away too, and was wearing it the whole time. But um, nice. I didn't know what it was from. Ooh, the dog. Oh, the dog just knocked over the light. Can, can you fix the light? Um, Night fit. But I wore that to a bar once in Fishers, Indiana, and people would be like, oh, that's the thing from A Christmas oh, Story. And I'm yeah, like, is what? it? I don't know. <laughs> what? Whatever. I don't know. I'm just wearing a bunny onesie. <laughs> you still you still have it? Yeah, it's in my closet. Nice. Yeah. Very <laughs> nice. It yeah. It's pretty good. It's a nice onesie. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's de that's definitely my favorite movie. I'm, I'm wearing the, a onesie right now. This is my, the astronaut onesie. Yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah. not, It looks comfy. I'm kind of jealous. It's kind of hot right now, but <laughs> it's, it is good. Favorite Christmas movie? Um, actually, my family always watches Forrest Gump <laughs> over Christmas. Really? It's not really a Christmas movie at all, but yeah. Forrest Gump? Yeah, it's not really Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we just always watch it. It's just your tradition. For, I love yeah. watching Alien on Christmas. It's my favorite. Which show? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Alien 1. I was like, my mom does watch <laughs> Asian like Aliens all Christmas long, too. Yeah, my mom really likes Aliens, so she'll be on a future episode talking about Aliens. Ooh, cool. Nice. Well, I think that we can wrap it up here. We're a little over time. All righty. Thanks for having us on. Appreciate it. Dude, it was fun. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming, Abe. Thanks for coming, Colleen and Maggie. Merry Chrysler, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Merry Chrysler. Christmas. Yeah, it was fun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Let's just no. kiss. Let's just kiss and see where it goes. Let's just <laughs> see where it goes natural. My head is so sweaty. Oh, my God. My Santa hat's hot. That's the best line ever.
so bad. Oh, I do too. I'm gonna pee my pants. I know. I almost peed my pants. I was almost gonna say, can we take a pee break? But I didn't know how far. We were close. Yeah, we did an hour and five, and the hour and six, and the first six was probably like set up. So yeah. About an hour. That's what I